Well, it's going by us, Patrick Midton Outdoors. We're getting outdoors. It's Sunday. Um, may put this up tomorrow or Tuesday, but we had some pretty serious rains, floodings, and that kind of stuff overnight. So we're gonna go take a look on how it affected our lakes and everything, because they're supposed to be at major flood stage. So I've got the big camera with me. Got the vlog camera. I've also got my 75 to 300 millimeter lens. So we're going to do some long distance stuff too. So anyways, we'll be using this to chit chat with and we'll back in a little bit. So let's uh, roll that in. Everybody just waiting to oh, get back out. Music. Sorry. All right. So last few days we've been pretty inundated with um, bad weather um, I mean bad weather we had uh, some tornadoes again within the area um, county over from us really or did get hit a few areas not nothing major I mean there's still some homes damaged and stuff like that and then uh, yesterday it started around oh I don't know it started yesterday morning kind of early and started raining and rained all night long until early this morning. I'd say about three o'clock when it finally stopped the actual deluge of rain. So one of the things we gotta do, the old girl needs some gas. That's the story of its life. It's always needing fuel. <laughs> That's part of owning a big V8. Uh, I need a bottle bottle of water to take with me. I didn't bring any from home. So I just stop in here and get a quick smarty water. Because I need all the smarts I can get. But uh, one of the things I'm doing too now that I've got a dedicated uh, tripod for home is I'm keeping a couple things in the truck. That way they're always with me. Um, one of them, I'm within hose reach. One of them is I'm keeping my to get out of there my monopod with me in the truck and I've got a smaller um, yet capable tripod in the back. I do like I said I have my SL3 and I've got my 75 to 300 zoom lens with me that I'll be using here shortly if you can see that if I'm pointing at it. Uh, so anyway I've got that stuff with me and we're going to see what all we can do. It's time to change batteries in this camera. Let's get to it. Okay. Just making sure you see me and everything. Um, changing out the batteries in the little camera. Acquired the Smarty Water. Not that it's going to help any. I like the little nozzle. Deer Park has the same thing, but their bottles are so flimsy. And I think I think that's why we go after the, the smart water bottles so much, is because the bottles seem like they are, I don't know, better plastic. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we're gonna ride down here to the lake, but I wanna make sure I've got all my cameras ready to go, because I don't know how bad it's gonna be. Um, I'm not going to go into any neighborhoods or anything. I'm not glorifying people's houses flooding. I don't like that. I know it's more of a news thing, not a, not my type of thing. I'd rather see what, you know, I know people are hurting and I know people are flooded out. There's actually, I think, four dead in Nashville from overnight flooding. So we're going to stop right there. I wanted to record this while I was changing out the battery on this and hope to gosh this is good to go now. We're good to go. I knew the other battery was about to die. But anyway, so we're going to go down the road here. Um, I've been down here before shooting pictures and video. Um, but I want to do, I'm going to do some practicing with my wide angle and plus I've got some ND filters I want to try out. Um, We'll try them out on video and on steel photography too. Might get a landscape shot or two. We'll see because I'm using my 24 millimeter lens on this occasion. Um, 
and like I said I've got the 75 to 300 now in case you're wondering the 75 to 300 actually um, let's do the math real quick because I am running an APC filter uh, sensor on this camera so your 75 millimeter times 1.6 actually comes out to 120 so that means when you do the 300 times zoom times 1.6 it's 480 millimeters so that's your difference like right now I'm shooting on the 24 millimeter uh, Canon lens so you times that by 1.6 and it's actually closer to 38 almost 40 millimeter lens which is right there pretty close to the nifty 50 there by likes I got one I don't like how far away you have to be from the camera with this one you don't have to be as far away so that's a plus um, actually the camera's kind of precariously dangling on the on the uh, dashboard there so anyways guys I'm gonna shut up talking we're gonna get down to the lake and see how bad it is then what we may do is after we get down this end we'll go down on the other end um, and see how bad it is down there there's boat dock there's boat dock boat launching ramp hmm. there's two launch ramps down there and then you got the shore and you got across the street which is another little uh, cove kind of area we may see if we can get down in there a little bit so let, let's let's roll on okay driving down the little road here and this is the road I've driven down before and showed you the deer on the road um, there's a couple of places where I can see to the lake from the, the houses and uh, well the lake is up up big um, like I said they're expecting it to be not uh, crest until Tuesday is what I'm hearing um, man they've got some of these lots up for sale now be a good time to move down here <laughs> not um, anyway I don't know I mean I may get down here and you can't get into the park part itself because of the flooding I may have it shut down for now man people are building bu building stuff left and right back here now it's sad this is one of the last lines of uh, emptiness through here so anyways I'll be back in a minute when we get down there okay it's worse than I thought already um, <laughs> this is the campgrounds and this is the campgrounds right here beside me and it's up into the campground already you can see out there I'll zoom it out or zoom it in that's the lake holy crap guys this is worse than I thought it would be um, but you can see the water running through there it should not be up there uh, those are campsites over there on that other side holy moly wow I've never seen it like this I didn't come over here in 2010 when we had the big flow oh my god <laughs> oh my god the parking lot well let me just go over here so we know where we can drive and can't drive the parking lot's full of water I mean I could park right there I guess and walk but no I'm not doing that but that water's all the way up in the parking lot the beach is where those signs and stuff are holy crap that's crazy that is crazy this is just insane insane guys insane and like I said I've done a lot of filming and taking pictures here and this is only going to come up this is only going to come up more this is not over with holy mother look at this I mean it's up in the parking lot it is up in the parking lot the boat the little ramp is underwater to get out to the thing oh my god this is nuts this is freaking nuts all right we're gonna do some picture taking that's about it that's all we're gonna do um you can't get any closer this the water's coming up in the parking lot of this place this is crazy we'll be back in a minute 
I got over here. There's the truck over there. I don't know if you can hear me very well, but we just got deluged by wind now. But the water out there is Bird Island. And it's covered Bird Island right now. Bird Island, you can normally see. Um, I can't turn you around right now. But Bird Island, you can normally see uh, the whole island during the summer and it's completely covered over that's crazy that's how deep the lake is you can see how muddy it is too um, I hope with the wind the way it's blowing you can hear me but if you were camping here this weekend which this is closed until next weekend um, that that's the only campsite there's maybe three or four on the lake shore that you can get in and out of right now this is nuts, dudes. And gals. I've never seen it this high. Where you see those trees in the water, and this wind is cold. Where you see normally see those trees in the water over there. Usually you can walk down there, no problem. That's how high it is right now. I'm just keeping the 24 mil on it on the camera for now and just filming this way. But uh, rapids, look how, the, how hard the wind's blowing. I'm, I'm freezing. I've got a long sleeve shirt on, but I got shorts on and I regret that situation. <laughs> oh, wow. So if this crest, they say this could go up another uh, five or six feet. It could be up on this road where I'm standing by Tuesday. That is nuts. That is nuts. And I took some pictures last year down there, and you could see, I mean, that's where I was standing. Down there where that tree is, actually. I was using that tree to prop up against to take a picture. That one right down there. And there's that box. I don't know what that box is for, but there's actually people trying to fish, which is kind of ridiculous. You're not going to catch anything in this. <laughs> But this is the campgrounds here. I made a couple of videos from here when it's been closed like this. But this is just crazy. Alright, I'm going to snap a few pictures and we'll move on to the other part of the lake. It's probably going to be just as bad. This is mind blowing how far up this is. Good lord, I underestimated the wind. That wind is nuts out there, guys. Oh, came back and got in the truck. <laughs> um, got some pictures I'm going to throw up real quick. Um, I, I'm just, I'm blown away how high it is right now. Blown away. Um, the snake laying up here in the road dead. That's crazy, a little bee snake. I don't know if it drowned or got run over or what, but... He was dead. He wouldn't move, so he's he's with the other snake, other dead snakes, I guess, in the world. But uh, we're gonna drive over here. I'm gonna leave you on uh, the cannon, the big cannon, for a second. I did pop an ND adjustable ND filter on it. Oh man, that wind! Um, when I made that turn right there by the bathhouse, it just went nuts. I mean, it was all I could do to stand there. And let's face it, uh, I haven't, uh, I haven't, uh, got the strongest legs in the world right now, but, you know, I'm not that bad. So anyway, we're going to drive over here a little bit and I'll show you the beach a little more. I'm kind of liking what I got going on with the setup on the camera um, with the 24 millimeter lens it's it looks pretty good the people trying to fish though that that's funny they're not gonna get anything now the way the winds blowing is hot as far up as the water is right now you're just not gonna get anything um, not out of this lake now too and it's cool the temperature has dropped big time I mean it's way different at home so, anyway, I'm going to shut up talking for a minute. May turn the camera around up here. Oh, may get out up here and walk this a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. 
it's crazy it's crazy nuts all right guys so yeah i've right up there is the um pavilion i've filmed at a couple times and if you remember way back i may put it up here at the top but this is where i was filming the ducks and stuff playing back during the winter time but this is parking lot right here where this water is i mean that is parking lot and it's totally flooded right now that is crazy it's hard to believe how far up it is but yeah there's that pavilion that i've done a couple of tests videos with cooking stuff before we took it out um so yeah this is one of my playgrounds <laughs> come out and test video and test photo stuff we're gonna turn around and not drown right, i thought i'd film it from outside the truck too but you can see this parking lot goes all the way around well, there's some ducks there's geese i mean laying over there i can't zoom in on them because they're too far away but yeah that's that there's the pavilion i've used before but uh this is crazy this is parking lot well there's there's a bathhouse right there i mean it's almost surrounded that's crazy i think the goose is looking at me goose is on the loose <laughs> all right we're gonna go to the other part of the lake uh, not far from the house and we're gonna take a look at that i know i've already said that once or twice maybe but uh if it's still got more to come it'll probably this whole parking lot part be inundated with it but you can see how much parking lots actually left i kind of turned around in the water <laughs> nuts so that's what mother nature can do mr goose bye bye mr goose all right i'm bringing you back on the vlog camera because we're getting close to the other part of the lake just down the road from the house i'm kind of interested in seeing how close to the road it is in this one section um, then we'll be at the other park section of Shoots Branch. If you look it up, that's what it's classified as, Shoots Branch. Um, that's what the, matter of fact, down here is where I filmed um, that second prospecting day. It's that, uh, oh my God. Let me turn you around so you can see what I'm seeing as I'm seeing it too. But um, it's where I filmed that prospecting day video. Yeah, it's up, it's not up to the road, but it's it's swelling. Holy crap. It is up, it's dirty. It's brown. It's going around here. Now they've got a warning for the people that live out there on that island. There's an island right there people live on. Um, it, it could be flooded at some point um, some nice houses out there expensive <laughs> it's pricey to live out there but you can see if you've got a house you know we'll be down here at the lake in a second, in a second. <laughs> yeah you can get to the boat ramp but it's not quite up to the boat ramp well you can get out to the tie off but um you can see what I'm talking about. We'll get out here in a second with the big camera and film a little more. But uh, that island, they've actually got a warning for that um, the water can get pretty high. Most of those houses look like they're fairly up away from any danger. Now, there may be some on the backside that you can't see that are in worse shape. But, uh, yeah, this is not too bad. There's a goose. There's a goose and a duck. A couple other critters. So, we'll see. We'll go make it out. Okay, we're gonna move areas. Um, got some pictures of some of the geese that were standing out here, a little video of them chirping away and barking and whatever, uh, honking. Had a guy pull up and scare them off, which was rude. 
Does he not know I'm trying to make a YouTube video here? Um, anyway, we're going to go over here on the other side and see, how, see what we see over there. That's going to probably about do it for this vid. I'm going to call this the Great Flood of 2010, whoops, slash 2021. <laughs> Because uh, the last time we got this much rain was 2010. And we know what that did to Nashville and some of the area around there. I'm interested in seeing too because um, since then, um, Opryland or Gaylord Entertainment and all that did a bunch of stuff to, um, to um, prevent the mall and stuff from flooding again. So we'll see if all that worked this time. Um, I don't think it got that bad on this flood scenario, but we don't know. Nobody knows. Um, there's your boat launch, and there's the little dock you would tie off to to uh, get out there. <laughs> it's pretty deep. It's pretty, it's pretty high. Right here is where you get back into the curb. Um, so yeah, there's a little bridge right over there that you can go on a boat. Uh, if you're on a boat, a very short boat, it can't be very tall and go under that bridge and um, go to the channel that's over here, over there. You can see that channel right over there. Let me flip it down so I can see what you're looking at. But uh, that just backs up to the houses. That's another creek up to there. But yeah, it's it's pretty bad, pretty brown. <laughs> All right, we may take a few more photos and we'll see. Hang on. Okay, I think I'm gonna grab the other camera. I'm gonna walk down here a little bit and take some pictures. See if there's anything worth taking pictures of <laughs> first. Um, I don't know, maybe the geese are down here or something. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. And we're going to wrap it up for this video for this uh, for this Tuesday. Um, but yeah, this is the flood of 2021. It is what it is, guys. We, uh, yeah, like I said, all the rain we got, I'm not shocked that we've got flooding. Really don't. It pretty well trained right over us all night. Uh, there's many water rescues done, that kind of thing, so there you go. Alright guys, we will probably have a little video here at the end of whatever I see down here and a few pictures, but remember, be prepared.